most, if not all, instruments in contact, take advantage of the mapping editor, which is one of the most powerful features of the program. As you've seen, you can map samples as zones across your keyboard and make per zone adjustments as needed. But you can also map zones according to velocities, so that instruments that sound differently when played hard or soft can be realistically recreated. I'll show you how this is done in principle first, and then I'll show you how most contact instruments do it too. Right now, I've got a single set of zones spanning from C0 to C6. Any one of these zones can be resized by dragging their edges. On the left and right side to change what keys they're mapped to, and on the top and bottom to change what velocities they're mapped to. You can see all this information up here as well. This zone, for example, covers the range C0 to C sharp 1. It covers the entire velocity range from 1 to 127. And the root key, meaning the note that was actually sampled to create this zone, was C1. Anytime you click on one of these zones, the root key itself is lit up on the Mapping Editor keyboard down here. Again, it's important that Contact knows the sample's root key so that it knows how much to pitch the sample up or down if the zone containing the sample spans more than one note. So, when this zone is triggered by any notes lower than C1 down to C0, what we're actually hearing is a pitch altered version of the original. This pitch alteration is accomplished through the tracking toggle switch over here. It applies to the entire group. And when it's on, it means that any notes that are covered by a zone, but don't have samples with the same root key, will be pitched up or down accordingly. Listen to the notes between C0 and C1, now that I have tracking off. It's all the same note. And that's because when I double click on this note, and listen to the raw sample straight from the wave editor, I can hear that it's just that familiar C1 note. This also applies to the notes between C5 and C6, where only C5 is really sampled, and with tracking off, we always hear that note. There are actually many places within this keyboard as well that use tracking, for example, none of the black keys were actually sampled, but they're handled by the tracking function. Let's turn tracking back on. And while we're at it, since we didn't hear it before, let's have a listen to our piano when reverse is toggled on. Though I'm not going to load any new samples, I'll show you how the mapping editor works with different samples mapped to different velocities. Let's first select all these zones. Next, grab the top of the zones and shrink them down a bit so they cover half of the velocity range. Now, if I play the piano moderately or very hard, we won't hear anything. It's only when I play softly that I'm triggering any of these zones. The little red velocity indicators show this perfectly. If we were to import a whole second set of samples, let's say of a piano being played harder, we could fit them in above these regular piano samples. Stay tuned for the next section on the mapping editor.